for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of g plus 6 irregular building model by using etap software so i was already done my modeling process for the respected irregular building structure initially i will show you that respected model in etap software then after that i will explain you how to analyze that respected structure and how to design that uh, irregular building by using etap software okay so click on the etap software here so here i was already opened my etaps model which is consisting of g plus 6 model so this is my irregular building model this is the plan view as this is the 3d model view for this respective structure so for this building i was taken material properties which is related to the m30 grade concrete and hysd bars of 500 grade steel okay so again in the same process i was taken the beam size which is consisting of approximately 0.35 cross 0.23 and column size which is consisting of 0.46 cross 0.23 so I will show you the slab thickness also go to define section property slab section so I was taken approximately of 150 mm okay so after uh, defining all the uh, properties then we have to apply for the respected building so I was already applied for this respected grid lines here like this so then after that we need to define the load cases okay so go to define option so click on the uh, load patterns option okay so here I was taking the load cases which is related to the dead loading condition system, live loading condition system, seismic loading condition system as well as wind loading condition system. Okay. So I was taking this respected building was located in a high seismic zone uh, 0.36 is the seismic coefficient value. Okay. So I was already applied the load cases which is comes under the dead loading condition, live loading condition, seismic loading condition as well as the wind loading condition for the building structure. So after applying all the load cases we need to analyze this structure. So click on the run analysis option. Okay. So that the analysis process will be uh, conducted for this respected uh, irregular structural model for the considerations of the load cases okay after the analysis process completed the deflection diagram is showing here like this so initially we need to see the values which is related to the shear force diagram bending moment diagram so go to display option forces here select uh, sphere fanula forces select to shear to two option select the load case as per your consideration just click on apply option so that it will display the uh, shear force diagram for this respective structure here like this bending moment action again click on apply option so that it will display the bending moment diagram for this respective structure here like this so click on ok option so after uh, seeing the results which is related to the analysis process we need to uh, design this structure okay so before designing this respected building model initially we need to apply the strips for the slab section so for that click on the unlock model here click on ok option so go to click on edit option here okay so in that edit option it will be consisting of add edit strips option so select add edit strip option okay select the seventh story here in x direction and strip layer is a click on apply option so that it will apply the strip in seventh uh, story with x layer grid okay again in the same process i am selecting the strip grid is y direction condition with the strip layer is b click on apply option so that it will apply the y direction condition strips for this respected building model here like this in the same process we have to select the remaining stories like 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 1 for the respected strip conditions in both x and y direction condition so after applying the strips we need to click on ok option here so now we have to analyze this respected structure as per the considerations of the strips go to analyze option again set load cases to run option again click on run now option so now we can see this is the deflection diagram after applying the strip condition system okay now we have to design this respected building structure so for that go to click on the design option here select the concrete frame design select the view revised preferences option select is456 code click on ok option so then after that we have to click on the design again select the concrete frame design click on start design check okay so that it will start design check for the respected column sections beam section for this respected irregular model of g plus 6 building now you can see after checking the uh, column section beam section reinforcement designing section the diagram will be showing here like this now we have to design the slab go to select the slab section here so click on view revised preferences here also we need to select is456 click on ok option again in the same process we have to select this respect option stand design check okay initially we need to select the slabs which is related to the strip conditions okay click on ok option so that it will stand designing check your respective strips condition in both x direction condition system as well as in both y direction condition system under applying the load cases okay 
so after applying all the strip condition system for the analysis process the diagram is showing here like this for this respective structure so initially we need to save this model control s option so then after that we need to open the csi detailing software so for that we have to close this respected etap software now we have to open the csi detailing version 2018 section so here i am opening my csi 18 version software so this is the extension for the etap say, uh, 18 version software now we can see the csi detailing version software is open here like this so firstly we have to click on the file option click on new model option so initially we need to select the file so here i am selecting my desktop which is related to your respected model of irregular fff just i am selecting irregular edb click on open option okay so that it will open the respected model initially in etap software then after that it will directly import the model to csi detailing option okay now we can see initially the model is opening in my etap software so then after that it will be imported to csi detailing version so now we can see it was importing the grid sections story sections joint sections again it was importing the uh, frame sections which is comes under the column sections as well as the beam section for the g plus 6 irregular building model then after that it will import the shell section for the g plus 6 building model so after importing process completed the csi detailing version will be open here like this so firstly we have to uh, select the detailing units option here okay select this respected option select the force units will be in kilonewton and the rebar units will be in ton section click on ok now we have to select the preferences option select as per the indian standard system uh, 456 2000 code again we have to select the detailing preferences option okay change the cb section to the beam section b here again select the column section to c here again in the same process change the wall section to w here click on ok option again i am selecting concrete preferences option you can uh, keep the values same as per the default here select the rebars rules option okay you can assume the values for the respected minimum spacing option or maximum spacing option so here i am taking minimum spacing will be consisting of approximately 150 mm maximum will be a 450 okay again in the same process we have to enter the values which is related to the beam sections also okay so here i am taking the minimum value will be of uh, approximately of 150 section again 150 section for this respected model again i am taking 150 section for this again i am taking 450 for the respected section here like this again i am taking 450 for this respected section here like this again i am taking 450 for this respected section here like this okay sorry this is 450 not 650 value so again in the same process we have to select the column this is the value which is comes under the 150 section again this is the value which is related to the 450 value okay click on ok option then after that you can click on the ok option directly so that it will start designing your respective slab section column section beam section for the g plus 6 irregular building model okay so after that it will show you the detailing process on the left hand side here like this which is related to the complete detailing process it will be consisting of floor flaming plan rebar plan again it will be consisting of top rebar plan again it will be consisting of bottom rebar plan again it will be consisting of all rebar plan sections here like this okay now we have to click on the rebar cage view for this respective seventh slab okay so that it will display the reinforcement cage view for the respective slab section seven here under considerations of different types of the load cases okay so now we can see this is the rebar cage view for the respective seventh slab for the irregular building again in the same process we have to click on the beam detailing option concrete beam sections you can select the framing plan section for the respective beam section here like this so that it will load the beam layout for this respective section okay you can click on the elevation section directly select any one of the floor just i'm selecting uh let us consider 8b3 select a option so that it will display the reinforcement diagram for this respected beam which is consisting of four bars at the top again it will be consisting of two bars at the bottom which is consisting of approximately 14 mm diameter again it will be consisting of the uh, stirrup section of 10 mm diameter bar with a 79 center to center distance okay again you can click on the rebar kg for this respected section so that it will load the rebar kg for the building structure here like this okay so this is the rebar kg for this respected building structure under considerations of the load cases okay in the same process you can load the uh, diagram which is related to the column section reinforcement detailing select the floor uh, column detailing option select this column section select this uh, fro floor framing plan select this respect option so that it will display the center to center distance between the each column select any one of the column section select a okay so this is the complete reinforcement details for this respected column section under consideration it will be consisting of approximately 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 number of the bars for the respected column section which is of 22 mm diameter for this respected building model okay 
so again i am selecting rebar kg for this respected column section okay so that it will display the rebar kg for the g plus 7 irregular structural model here like this okay so this is the rebar kg for this respected structure for the column section under considerations of the load cases here okay so it will be consisting of your respected 12 number of the bars for the respected column section okay so this is the complete process of designing of your respected uh g plus 6 irregular building model by using ETAP software. If you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.